Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. I am a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I should. I should. I've been doing this for 50 years as a revenue officer, as a collector of IRS debts. I used to be a beater, or Caesar of cars and everything, homes. Anyway, I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. We are an excellent tax resolution company. We should be. We've worked thousands of cases. I've been on all the major news stations. You can see my videos at 777irs.com. I've been on every major news station that's possible. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about uh, how to get your passport back uh, really quick, what, what implications, in fact, those things like that have. And uh, really, at the, at the end of the day, if you've lost your passport, what is the very, very best way to get it back fast? That's what you really need to know. We've worked a number of these cases. And, um, you know, IRS really pulled a fast one here, to be honest with you. I, I hate what they did. You know, sometimes in legislations, government agencies stick things in. And I think that in, uh, God, about eight, seven years ago, IRS slipped in the FAST Act about uh, how you can... Um, that IRS is going to take your passport if you had serious tax debt. IRS came up with a number at that time at 52,000. Today it's 59. As of the date of this video, it'll probably shift up. It's certainly not going to go down. So what IRS does is they first has to make demand, so they made final demand with you. Number two, they filed the federal tax lien. Whether you know it or not, you have a tax lien on record for your debt. So what IRS wants you, what they did that next systematically is they sent out a 508C letter, not to your power of attorney, but just to you. And sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, but it doesn't make any difference. Those letters are time sensitive. You have 90 days to go ahead and to respond to that notice. And, um, you know, if you don't, IRS suspends, denies, revokes your passport. What do they do? Contact the State Department, send an email out, State Department revokes, suspends, denies your passport. So within that 90-day period, you can get your passport back really quick um, by calling Internal Revenue Service, giving them a financial statement, and uh, making a, a close your case. You can close your case either with a currently non-collectible, a payment agreement, or an offer and compromise. If it's over the 90 days, you have to apply for a new passport. But I caution everybody, not just because you need to use me, but you should, but to, at the end of the day, is when you when you're going to call IRS to close this case out, what is IRS going to be looking at? This is the most important thing that you need to know. Um, like me, I'd look I'd get an IRS financial statement if you send it to me, and I'm going to close your case, like I said, with currently non-collectible, hardship, payment agreement, or an offer and compromise. The mere filing of an offer suspends your case if it's, it's a good offer. What you need to know is this. IRS is drilling down on two things. They're drilling down on your assets. You have the money to pay the tax and you just don't want to pay it. Or um, you have income and expenses that are out of balance. So what IRS is going to do on a financial statement, you're going to give them that financial statement. And IRS is going to say, hmm, those expenses are too high. We're going to take them up. Mm -mm. Boy, we want a three, dollars $4,000 of a payment agreement. Problem is you don't know what trap you're walking into. I'm going to tell you the trap so you know what the trap is. IRS will dictate to you what your expenses are. They will dictate to you, and it's called the national standard expenses. Find them out yourself. IRS is going to lock in what you can spend for food and clothing, what you can spend for housing and utilities, what you can spend for uh, car expenses, and what you can spend for your car payments. IRS literally is going to determine those. Look up, up yourself. IRS national standards for housing and utilities, IRS sets for car payments, car expenses, and food and clothing. If that number comes up to $4,000 a month and you're spending $6,000 a month with Moshar, IRS wants $2,000 a month. There's ways to get around this that we know about that you don't. That's why we're good at what we do. Anyway, if you need us, uh, let us know. We can get your passport back as fast as humanly possible. Sometimes it takes six weeks to do that. But you must settle your debt by one of those three methods with Internal Revenue Service. We are experts in this. Uh, call us. Um, you can ask me any questions you want. Give me a subscription today. I try to tell you everything you need to know. But that's everything that you need to know and more about the passport. Thank you very much.